Yo, what up, players? Uh, welcome to your 25th Android tutorial. Again, thanks for watching, subscribing, um, give me comments, join the forum, all that great stuff. In today's tutorial, we're going to set up a, a new activity. Um, and basically, this activity, uh, or well, actually, yeah, sorry. Anyways, basically, this activity is just going to play some songs. And then, um, trying to show you what it does here. And it stops the music as well. And basically, this is just going to be a quick setup. You guys can probably do this yourselves. I'm just going to talk over what I did. And I'm also going to copy and paste the code below in the description and also on my form. So you guys can just check that out and copy and paste because I don't want to type it all out. It's kind of long. And I typed it in a way that you guys can probably figure out what's uh, how, to, how to do this app. But the reason why we're setting this up is eventually we're going to be able to hold down the play button and it will save the song that's been selected to the phone, uh, the actual phone, so the user can use it for uh, whatever purposes they'd like. Um, and so we're just going to hop in and get started here. What I want you guys to do is import or put three or four songs, actually, I'm sorry, four songs into your uh, RAR folder. And they're going to be MP3s, and you want to label them as song one, all lowercase, and get just whatever songs you guys want. You're going to have to open a new tutorial for class or XML. And again, I copied and pasted the coding in here. You guys can probably figure it out. Just make sure all your labels are the same as mine in that copy and paste code. And like I said, this tutorial, I'm just going to talk through what I did because you guys could, for the most part, figure it out. There's only a few new things. And you also want to open up a new or create a new tutorial for class. And also in the com I left a few comments. Um, and the code that you're going to copy and paste so you guys kind of know what's going on. Just so when you guys set up your tutorial for class, um, it'll give you a package name. That's the package you guys define. Uh, mine might be different if you didn't name it the exact same as what mine is labeled as. So make sure you keep your package, you know, copy and paste everything in here. Also, what you want to do is you want to go to your menu class and set up a new button for the button 4 I think it is and so it will open up this tutorial for with your intent and also in your Android manifest you know set up your activity I know it's kind of a lot of stuff um, so you guys might want to just copy and paste or I mean sorry pause the visi video 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 and just copy and paste everything and get it set up and ready to go now I'm just going to talk through a few things um, in this tutorial, or I'll just kind of tell you actually everything what I did with this tutorial uh, for class. Um, like I said, you guys could probably figure out most of it. But the first thing we want to do is we want to set up uh, some media player objects um, or variables here. And you can do that instead of just saying media player one and then semicolon meeting player two, you can just use commas. So we're setting up four different variables and they're all of the media player class. We aren't going to define them yet. And again, this is before on create method, so we can use this for everything within our tutorial for class. And again, this is going to extend activity, so we can use the on create method, which you guys should be familiar with. And then we also want to set up a new int um, integer, and this is basically going to use a reference, kind of like we've done before. Like I said, I don't want to do anything too new in this tutorial, but this is just going to be a number, and when when the on, or when this activity starts, it's going to start at zero, and then we're going to have the radio buttons change that number to either one, two, three, or four. And then, if depending on what number it is, we know what song it is. Um, so that's why we want that end, and we can use that for a whole activity as well. Now, on the on create method, uh, we're going to set it up as layout four, and like I said, we're going to set up our what song it is at zero. And then we're going to set up a radio group. Again, this should be review for you guys. In the XML of the radio, um, or tutorial four, we set up a radio group called group music. And then we set up that radio group to do something. It's going to say set on click, or on change click listener, like we've done before. And in its parameters, it's going to say this. Instead of saying like new um, on click listener, or view dot on click listener. But again, when we use this, it's going to reference whatever we implement. So we, uh, when we say this, we're going to have to say, oh, 
it's going to give us an error. And if you hover over, it'll say implement on check change listener. So we can implement that and it'll give us another error because every time we implement something, we're going to have to use the method um, from, oops, from this on check change listener because we implemented that. Uh, so every time you implement something, you're going to have to use the methods that pertain to whatever you're implementing. So then if you hover over the tutorial four, you can say, uh, implement on, or add on the implemented methods. And then that, what that, what that is going to do is it's going to, let me find it here first. It's going to set up a new little method here down for you called on check change. And it's going to take a radio group and also int for its parameters. You guys should be familiar with all this stuff. Again, uh, this is just kind of overview. But what we're going to do is this is going to pass in an int, and this will be the ID of what radio button it will be in our radio group. So it's going to pass in our radio group, group music, and also what, uh, basically what um, button is pressed in that, in that, whatever, uh, in that radio group. And so we're going to set up a switching case. It's going to look for the ID of the radio button. And uh, so we're going to say case ID radio button 1 selected. If that's selected, we're just going to change our int variable uh, that we set up at the very beginning to 1. And then if it's the second one is selected, we're going to set that to 2, 3, 4, etc. So that's going to be just changing that variable what song. So remember when it's when it's created, what song is zero, and then once uh, any time we change a radio button, it's going to set it equal to whatever song or whatever integer that will be. And now um, let's go back to what's happening up here. So where were we? Now we want to set up those media uh, media player variables. Again, at the beginning we set up the variable saying that the whole activity can or the whole class can use these variables. But we didn't set them up to anything. So we're going to say song, media player, create. And this is something new here. Um, before we just hit this, but again, just like we use this here, it's going to look for the un or the implemented methods. But since, so if we use just this right in this first parameter for the context, it's going to look up and say, oh, well, you implemented on check change listener. And you know, that doesn't really work too well with media player. A variable, so you're going to get an error. But what we want to, what we want our context to be is our class name, the this of the class name. So it's going to look for the context of tutorial one, um, or tutorial four. I'm sorry. And so it's just going to basically be like this of our class name. So that's going to be our context. And then what we want to set up our uh, reference or our int as is uh, your RAR folder, what you saved your songs as. So it's going to be r.rar.song1, and then for song2, it's going to be r.rar.song2, etc. Then we also want to set up two buttons, a play button and a stop button. Uh, basically, just going to pause the songs, and that's going to play the songs. And again, we're going to set this up as our ID in the XML, and that's what we labeled it in the XML of tutorial 4. Um, again, you guys just copy and paste, so I'm just uh, reminding you these are what I set up, I guess. And then what we want our play button uh, to do, well, we want to do something. We're going to set an on-click listener. And again, we could have said like this and then implemented it, um, but uh, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, the way we first started. Uh, we're going to say new view dot on-click listener, and then um, within its parameters, it's going to have to implement the on-click method or um, yeah, add the onclick method. And basically what we're doing is we're going to say if a song is playing, like if song one is playing, uh, so we're going to set up our media player variable and we're going to hit dot and we're going to say is this playing? And that's going to be a method, which is boolean. So it's either going to be true or false. So basically we're going to check if song one is playing, we're going to do whatever is in these brackets. We're going to first pause the song, and then we're going to set the song or seek the song to zero. And seek to is a method that you can use to like 
um, go to a certain um, time reference within your song and it's going to be judged in uh, milliseconds I think let's see here yeah milliseconds it's going to be judged in milliseconds so uh, we're just going to set at zero milliseconds of the song so it's just basically going to reset the song back at zero and pause it and reset it back to zero and then same with song two we're going to do pause it and set it to zero so this is basically saying if any of those songs are playing um, it's going to pause it and set it back to zero otherwise it's not going to do anything and then we're going to set up a switch case and again this is for the play so every time you hit the play it's going to set um, those songs to pause and back to the beginning of whatever song is playing I should say so then we have this switch here and what song that remember that's the variable we set up at the very beginning so it's either going to be zero one two three or four depending on the radio button that's pressed or if no radio button has been pressed yet case zero this is what we set up that uh, variable to mean at the very beginning on the create method and what we're going to say is just say uh, display a toast again this should be review and uh, this toast that is going to be displayed is just going to say please select a song and again it's going to be toast make text and then for the context again we're going to use the class actually dot this so the context of the class and um, again for the length we're just going to say set short um, again this is kind of review and we're just going to show the toast after we've made it otherwise we're going to start song one we're going to start song two if if the that integer at the beginning was changed to song two or three or four etc um, basically again remember this is looking for this integer um, what, what, whatever it's at right now so that's going to set up um, our play and play and such uh, when we hit the play button and then we also want to set up the stop button and remember all this stuff is going to be within the on create and then we're also going to set up it's the old fashioned way where we say new view dot on click listener and then that's going to implement or add the unimplemented method which is on click and uh, it's going to pass in a view and then we're just going to basically this is going to uh, just do exactly what we did for the play except it's just going to seek to zero and then pause you can do that actually you probably want to do pause and then set seek to zero uh, just for it to be a little bit different or a little bit uh, better for a program but uh, it doesn't really matter because this isn't the most efficient way to set it up I just want to set it up in a way uh, that is pretty easy to understand what's going on and hopefully you guys could have set something up like this yourselves um, basically all that was new is the tutorial for dot this so we're getting the context of this class and that should basically be it and then in the next tutorial we'll learn how to save uh, save stuff to the phone SD card. So thanks again for watching guys. Sorry if this was confusing or you can't figure this out. Uh, just let me know. And in the form, again, I'll post, co uh, post this code down below and in the form. So thanks again for watching guys. I hope you have a rest of your day. Uh, of course you can have a rest of your day. hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, and thanks again for watching. See you guys later. Sorry if this lesson was pretty boring, but thanks again. Peace.